In this video, we're going to continue with the Sculptfun S9 diode laser from our previous limit switch installation video and flash clean GRBL firmware. Although we are working with the S9 in this video, the process will be very similar for other diode laser engravers with Arduino based controllers. This will allow the machine settings to be saved permanently, so your laser will remember the new limit switch configuration without having to run the macro every time you start the machine. If you are following this video to get limit switches installed on your machine, you will need to watch the previous mentioned limit switch video. At this point, you should have limit switches mounted and functioning properly. If not, a link will be in the description so that you can follow the previous video before continuing here. Anytime you modify your machine, there is a risk of damaging something. We highly recommend that you watch this video all the way through before deciding to follow along and as always, proceed at your own risk. The first thing we will need to do is insert the power cable, connect the USB cable from the machine to our computer, and power on the S9. Jumping into Lightburn, start by checking the console to make sure that your laser is connected. Once verified, we will begin by clicking the limit switch macro that we created in the previous video to enable our limit switches and update our GRBL homing values. With the values updated, we will then click on the Edit and Machine Settings to open the Machine Settings dialog window. Towards the bottom of the window is a Save to File button. Click on that and save the Lightburn configuration file somewhere that we can access it easily, like our desktop. Once saved, click OK to close out of the window. The file we just exported will be used to write our current machine settings to our laser when we flash it with clean GRBL firmware. To be safe, we also recommend grabbing your GRBL values from the console. To do this, type $$ into the console and hit enter. When you do, you will see a long list of values that represent your current firmware settings. Highlight all of these values and copy them to a text editor that you can save as a backup in case you ever need to reference these values later. Before moving to the next step, we need to close out of Lightburn. Next, we will need to download Arduino IDE. This is the program that we will use to flash GRBL to our controller. Arduino IDE is available for Mac, Windows, and Linux, and you will install it like any other program. For Mac OS, it will download in a zip file. You will need to unzip the file and then drag the Arduino application to your applications folder. Before we use Arduino IDE, we also need to download GRBL firmware. Stock GRBL firmware includes Z-axis control, which our laser does not have. This needs to be disabled in a config file, but to make things as simple as possible, we've already done this for you. The needed files are linked in the description. Use these files to avoid issues. Once downloaded, extract the zip file. Inside, you will find a folder labeled GRBL, which we will use in a moment. With that done, we are ready to open Arduino IDE. On Mac, you may get a warning prompt the first time you open the program. Inside Arduino IDE, start by heading up to the sketch menu. Then include library and add .zip library. This will open up a window and we will need to navigate to our unzipped GRBL folder. Make sure that the folder you select is the unzipped folder and not the initial zipped file that we downloaded. With the GRBL folder highlighted, click choose to import the library. You can confirm that it was successfully imported by once again going up to sketch and include library. If it was imported correctly, you will see GRBL listed under Contributed Libraries. Next, go to File, Examples, GRBL, and select GRBL Upload. This will open a new window containing the sketch that we will be flashing to the controller. Before we can flash our board, we do need to tell Arduino IDE the board type as well as the COM port the laser is connected to. To select the board type, we will navigate to the Tools dropdown, Board, and select Arduino Uno for the Sculptfun S9. Also under Tools, we need to go to the port and select the port that our laser is connected to. If you have multiple options, disconnecting the laser and reconnecting will allow you to see which port appears. That will be the port for our laser. Next, click the Verify button, which is the check mark, to make sure that everything is compiling correctly. Then we can upload by clicking the arrow button right beside the verify button. This will be a fairly quick process and you will see done uploading near the bottom by the console when it has completed. If you get an error while trying to upload, make sure that you have closed out of Lightburn. If the laser is still connected to Lightburn, Arduino IDE will not be able to flash the controller. Once the uploading is complete, we can close out of Arduino IDE and open Lightburn. 
After verifying that the laser is connected, we will head back to the machine settings window. This time, we will click load from file and navigate to the .lbset file we previously saved. All that is left is to click the right button to apply these settings to our machine's firmware. This may take a few seconds and you will see controller settings written successfully displayed in the window when it has completed. To verify that everything has worked correctly, we will type $$ in the console to pull up the current GRBL settings from our firmware. Looking at the $$22 through $$25 values, we can see that they are correct and match with our previously generated macro. We have successfully flashed our laser with clean GRBL and have our limit switch settings applied. All that is left is to home our laser and see them in action. Now, when you close out of Lightburn or turn your machine off and on, all of the settings are still stored and we do not need to run the macro again. If you have not already, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and ring the bell so you never miss a video. Also, check out our existing playlist for more great guides on mastering Lightburn.